For problem number 37, we're asked to solve x plus 1 minus 2 times the square root of x plus 4 equals 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add 2 square root of x plus 4 to both sides. Now the reason I want to do that is I'm going to square both sides and then bring some stuff back because uh, basically the square root is causing us some issues here. So I get x plus 1 is equal to uh, positive 2 square root of x plus 4. So that square root symbol is giving me some problems. So I'm just going to get rid of it by squaring everything. And whatever I do on one side, i got to do on the other side. So this becomes x squared plus 2x plus 1. How do I know that? Well, I've memorized the special pattern for when we square a binomial, but... If I say x plus 1 times x plus 1, I get x squared plus 1x plus 1x plus 1. And so that's where this x squared plus 2x plus 1 comes from. When I square this, 2 squared is 4, and then I'm left with x plus 4. Okay. Um, so now I'm going to distribute the 4 through the parentheses. And when I do that, uh, on the right-hand side, I get 4x plus 16. So now I can, I've got like a quadratic thing going on if I move these two terms over to the other side. So I'm going to subtract 4x and I'm going to subtract 16 all at once. And I get x squared minus 2x minus 15 is equal to 0. Now, this might be factorable. I don't know. We'll try it out. Actually, I do know because I've already guessed. If I take the first term and the last term, and the only way I can get x squared is x times x. Now, I need to find two numbers that when I multiply them, uh, I, they become negative 15, but when I add them up, they equal negative 2x. So 5 and 3 would work. And because this is a negative 15, one of these has to be negative it would be 5. The reason for that is because is that will give me a negative 5x and a positive 3x. And so when I combine these two like terms, I'm going to get my negative 2x. So this factors into x plus 3 times x minus 5 equals 0. Set both sides equal to 0. Or both factors, I should say. And I get x equals negative 3, x equals positive 5. And those are my answers. Any questions?